my God. What have you done to this f***ing hotel? What have you done to us? You ruined us. No, you need to stay here is what you need to do and run this place. That's what you need to do. Sit in the trunk. You didn't tell me Julio was coming too. Where's the she said? There's one at the hotel and there's one at my house. No communication. Well, Rafal shouldn't be here anyway. This is this business. Is start my day off. Your day just started? Everything I do is your business. Remember that. Every problem I have is because, yeah, I don't know. I'll try to be nice to Rafal today. How about that? Why do you gotta be a prick every fucking day of your life? That's You're what I want to do. You're supposed to be know. nice to everybody. Where do you get that from? You don't get it from me. I'm nice to those that are nice to me. Have we started off wrong already? Well, look, we ain't got what? a fucking seat for you to sit in. You're gonna fucking roll in the back. Yeah, let's go. Like my 600 pound life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's gonna think, somebody thinks we're from a fucking aquarium with this fucking this whale in the back. Come on, let's go. So he's being mad at you, Rafa. You know why? You know why? Because he what? says you make him look bad. No. Because... Purposely. Because you're a racist. A, pol a, a racist Polish pol racist. Damn. Not only does he make me look bad, but you pay him to make me look bad. Well, that's work, buddy. That's that's okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, Vincent! Now, what the fuck is this? <laughs> ah, that's where David lives. That's my that's security. That's where his fucking crew lives. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, don't touch my stuff. We're in the front of the fucking hotel. You can't do no better than this. This is what the first impressions are. You still ain't fixed the goddamn walkway. The people pulled the hotel in. It looks like shit. Yeah, but nothing right now. All right. Fucking concrete sitting in there. Here we are, back at the Fort Lauderdale Hotel. Last time was not a very pleasurable experience. The bathrooms ain't done and you're moving too slow. And all I get is a bunch of excuses. We're coming back to check up and see if we made any progress. Look at this shit here. This is how you welcome people to a hotel? They took a potted plant and stuck it in a garbage can. That's his idea of landscaping. So what's the status of that bathrooms? Everything is nice and clean and ready to go. One week after they left, everything was done. It's a construction site. It's dirty, you clean it, but everything looks good. Shouldn't look good. Why is this room so clean? It's clean. Construction clean. It's been construction clean. We're waiting on the doors to come in, right? These are temporary Temporary doors, doors yeah. Kind of a shitty looking ceiling there. We still got to paint, right? We have to decide whether we want to soak this here, or here, or here, or here. I say put it right next to the goddamn faucet. Call it a day. Today. That was not what I was This playing. is the story Move. Ben gave me, okay? okay the ahead. story we got, and the reason why I came all the way down here is because we can't use any of the showers. We gotta rip out the walls. They want bars. They want guns. We gotta redo the whole shower assembly. The toilets, they got some cover that goes around them, and, and it doesn't fit over our valve. We have to either move the valve, or we're gonna have to buy a, a adapter that moves the toilet over, and uh, we're not gonna get these bathrooms done unless we take care of these two problems. That's why we're here today. Now, when you're telling me there's no problem with the shower. And what's the story with the toilet? I and what am I asking it. you for? You don't know what the hell's going on around here. And you do from that whole spiel you just did? I solved all the what's problems. What's the story? You solved, all, solved the all the problems. There's no problem with the toilet. Not anymore as of what's last the, what night. Was the, what was the problem? How would you solve it? Tell us. We want to know. Don't go out there. Stand here and tell us what was the problem and how you solved it. Please. The toilet valve was hitting the back of the toilet because, you ready for this kicker? I'm ready. Because the toilet is not the toilet that we started with in the beginning, the middle, or anywhere near. This toilet is a random ass type of toilet that we got sent here that we weren't ready for. So the way you put the toilet in, you can't really move a toilet around the drain. Wherever the drain is, you gotta put the toilet in. 
Right. The valve was sticking out right. in a certain spot for a different type of toilet. Right. So someone you ordered that, the wrong toilet? No. Someone told us to get a quote for a certain type of toilet. Then they went and said, oh, I can get this other type of toilet for cheaper. Let me just do this behind everybody's back. Now you know why the toilet's cheaper. Right of them. All right. Get my bag and put it. I need that bag. And, and okay. a coat. And my coat. All right. Very good. All right. All right. Have okay. fun. Julio, take notes. Boy, you lucky. I hope all those rooms are cleaned up like that. Because the last time, I was ready to kill you. Oh. We're making this an apartment building. This is going to be the most expensive, high-class apartment building in Fort Lauderdale. Who would not want to live here in these beautiful one-bedroom apartments? He said he needs cigarettes. You guys are Tell him to go buy some motherfucking cigarettes of his own. He said go buy your own damn Smoke cigarettes. Smoke them on sugar. He says he just needs one cigarette. That sounds like some Tell him real to send his assistant stuff. down to get it. All right. His something. assistant. All right, we'll leave it in your bag. <laughs> turn them over. Three people working in a hotel. Turn them over. Get in turn, there and clean a room. You need to turn all Take off rooms. that jacket, put on your gloves, and clean a room. This kid ain't never made a bed in his life. Keep saying stuff like that. I'm He's at house. I'm gonna start spreading lies about you. Lies. I don't lies. spread lies. I never made a bed in my life. You never Please. made a bed in your life. <laughs> Not even in camp. That's right. You made my bed. Now I have to lay in it. He's had housekeepers his whole life. Who's he kidding? Shit. First time I had a housekeeper, she ratted me out. Take He's been home. everything. He's a big shutter. He's, He's a stuck. legend in his own mind. We're here in Fort Lauderdale. What are we doing today? We're going to find a new home. A new home that satisfies four different criterias. Number one, we need a home that can fit the boat. Number two, we need a home that can fit the RV. Number three, we need a home that can fit Vincent. Number four, we need a home that ain't gonna cost me a lot of money. So we got four criterias, and we're gonna go out and we're gonna look at what's left on the market to pick and choose from so we can stop paying rent. We're paying rent in two places right now. The money we're spending on rent, we can own a damn home and the home will appreciate. We can write up the interest on a mortgage. It's everything I've been saying. I'm always telling everybody, stop paying rent and own. Well, what do you call that? I gotta practice what I preach. So today we're gonna go out and look for a church to preach. Priscilla went out and got her real estate license just to, for the purpose of helping us find a house. She got off her ass, she got a license, she's been printing out shit, looking at shit, calling people, making appointments, running around, doing research, and now she's gonna take us out and show us what's on the market that fits our needs so we can stop paying rent. What's the budget? I'm not saying. You get what you pay for. We're looking for a bargain. If we find something small that satisfies all our needs, then we'll go for it. If we have to find something big, maybe we'll hit the jackpot, find something big that will generate some income. Maybe it'll have enough dockage for two boats to be at so we can park ours and rent out the other space. Who knows? Maybe it'll come with an extra rental unit or something they can rent out. We're going to go out and see what's available. You got to get out there and see what you can do. Let's go. Let's go. I'll eat the fucking burger and the burger better be good. Why don't you have a salad? Why don't you go have a nice long walk on a very short pier? Order me a Jewish salad. That's where they promise you everything and give you half of it. Hey guys. You found Sorry, us. Sorry, no, I didn't know anybody was You didn't even here. know we're out here. We've been sitting here for an hour, lady. It's my first day, okay? I'm first sorry. day? Oh my god. Oh god. I mean, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. Everybody else. You're a who? I'm amazing. Everybody You're else. You're amazing? Is. They heard I'm from inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna make it quick and easy. Well, let's do it. My name's Danny, by the way. Me. What are we? Uh, what are we drinking? I'm Vince. That's Priscilla. Hey guys. Listen, so we're not here to fucking invite everybody. Okay, get the right. goddamn order. It's let's go. For, it's chairs for me. All right. What are we drinking, guys? You got any diet sodas except Coke? No. Do How do you know it's your first day? Because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Unsweet tea with Splenda. Okay. Everything. Yeah. You're not allowed to have bacon. Shut your mouth. I had for breakfast. I have lunch. <laughs> what do you eat, Pollock? I'll have the crab cake sandwich. Nice. 
All right, you remember where we're at, right? I remember, I won't forget you. All right, I won't forget you either. This is one of those places where you come here and there's something about the burger that just tastes fancy. The mayo fancy. or something. What do you know truffle? about fancy? Truffle now all of a sudden he's fancy. He eats burgers on the beach. He's fancy. I live next door this to this place. This is fancy. Look, we're sitting in a fucking in a, in a loading zone. Here. What do you mean? We're on next to the fucking uh, handicap elevator. Artificial grass. A fucking, oh my god. Don't get that fucking camera out of my face. And that guy. No tomato for you, love. Thank you. Are you missing a piece of bread here? Yeah, what's up, man? I think they're missing the, uh, oh, man. Great neighborhood, but this house needs a lot of work. It's 40 years old and it looks it. Uh, I look better than this house and I'm 55. Who knows, why do our homework and find out, hey, maybe it's worth the lot price, is what they're asking. properties and we narrowed it down to this one here. This place has everything we need. It has a place for the captain to park his big fancy RV. It's got a boat here that's bringing in income. It's got enough dock space for our boat. It's got another slip that we might be able to rent out and make some more income. It's got these little guest houses around here that we might be able to make a few bucks on every month. It's private, seems like a very safe place. But this is a lot. The point, the question is, do we want to pay the money? This lady, I think she overpaid. And now she wants us to bail her out and give her back her money. In the beginning, when we first found this house, they said 360 feet of dockage. It's technically only 260 feet of dockage. Because your boat can only fit here with this. That's 200 feet. And that, they counted both sides of that. That's bullshit. Both sides. They said they counted all the wood. Like they did a square inside and out. And this is uh, one bedroom guest. Cottage. I know for a package, you'd be able to easily get 150 bucks a night, I would think, or maybe 100. So if you kept this thing booked, it has a potential of $3,000 a month. Or you play it safe and you say, maybe I can rent it half the month. So that's 1,500 bucks a month. A lot to think about, a lot to think about. Big money, big decisions. These are the problems you have in life, you know, when you got big yachts and you got, uh, when you're doing business away from home and you need residences and you need more water and, you need RV spaces, and you need all these things. It costs money. So we'll see. We're going to make her an offer, and uh, we'll play the game. But if I got to step up to the plate and pay, I might have to pay. You got to pay to play. You want to be a big shot with big fancy yachts and pain in the ass captains and kids that have to live in fancy places while they're on assignment working for you. You know, you got to pay. It's part of the game. You want to be a big shot, you got to pay. How'd you like the RV spot? Pretty nice. Let's talk about that pain in the ass captain. Let's talk about the pain in the ass I'm boss. I'm gonna give you all this right here. This is gonna be yours. That's very nice. I just want a place to keep the boat, keep you, and keep him. And make some money. Keeping me is the kind of the trick. You know, easy come, easy go. Rolling? But let me tell you about rolling, baby. I've been rolling all goddamn day. And he's stuck in the car with this cuckoo and this cuckoo and you, all right? And I've had it all day in the car, looking at cockamamie houses, uh, looking at the crazy prices. I'm done, I'm tired. 
I'm going to stay right here in this wonderful resort. That's what I'm going to do and screw moving a goddamn boat to a house. I'm tired and now I'm going to get on the boat and we're going to go have a nice dinner somewhere. Yes, we're going to write an offer. They may not like the offer, but we're going to write it. So hopefully Priscilla won't scream bloody murder when she sees the number we want to offer. I wonder what, whose side she's on sometimes. They are looking for about four million bucks and they're crazy. We're going to offer them three and they better be happy we offered that. But on the condition that Vincent promises to rent out the guest houses so we can generate income and the captain's going to rent out two slips that have come with the house for income. So maybe if the whole thing pans out and turns out well, we might get the house for free based on the income. That's real estate. Perry's an experienced broker. We looked at all the ones he sent too, right? Not to give him any credit. But anyway, Perry has sold two hotels that Vincent practically three. destroyed. Three. Oh, yeah, he sold three. And all three of them, Vincent screwed up. Perry got filthy rich off of me. Let me tell you something. The women Captain. the women that stay with, in Perry's mother's uh, assisted living facility care, they got so mega residents. millions. You, you know, we could rent you out by the night in that joint, too. We can just go to every room. I can start going over. I want to start visiting your mother with you. You guys aren't here. Why can't these trailer park women come pay me to? I don't know. We're on two different pages. He wants to date trailer park women. And I'm telling him to go get rich old women that are worth millions and millions of dollars that are getting ready to croak any time now. That's true. Go work your mother's uh, assisted living facility. I'm gonna. I want to go over there. I'll start booking you rooms there. Booking you nights in everybody's well, room. So do you want to go to River Tail or whatever? Let's go. Oh yeah. I know you don't like waiting too long. Why? Are you afraid to take the boat out? Tell us. Are you afraid to take the boat out? We got four helpers compared to one mate. Listen, all he does is he takes the damn bow thrust and he puts it up against the dock and he holds the boat there. You got time to do all kinds of shit. It ain't like you're rushing. I take these off first. <laughs> Don't scratch the floor, please. What? What happened? Don't lose no parts, he'll kill you. You drop parts in the water, he'll fucking kill you. Hurry up, put the ladder on. We'll worry about it when we get back. Hurry up, put the ladder on. We'll worry when we get back. He's gonna be pissed. Don't tell him right now. He'll say, he'll get pissed and he won't go. Shit, take the ladder off. Hotel. I know. Did you buy any extra parts? What kind of shit is that? Did you buy extra did parts? You buy, did you buy extra parts for your Rolls Royce when you bought it? I wish you came with extra parts, an extra brain. Parts. Don't run right. away. You don't want to drop the part. Right? Set you free. Did you? Did you not oh, drop a no, part? No, you didn't. Yeah, he lost a part. No, we don't have that, and those are thirty bucks. I've done this oh, so many times. Pieces. Come on, you guys. Where's the All right, everybody, we're gonna jump. Jump ship. You know what? You guys are really fun. <laughs> we took the first pan out. Now I get the picture here. Look at this. I, I get the picture. Yeah. Dumb and dumber. <laughs> they weren't properly like, trained. I'm sorry, you didn't train her properly. And we'll, we, we'll, we'll, we won't even charge you for it. Step on my back. Get you ready, set, turn. <laughs> says, I want what I want. Oh no, you're not gonna give it to me? No, sir, we only give out two cards. Isn't it just like a hotel card key? No. Well, how much? Well. $300. No, fuck that. Hell no. How much? I'll give you $20. No, fuck that. I'm slamming door on your face. This bitch is slamming door on my fucking face. God, <laughs> break down his fucking... Do y'all see that shit? I'm gonna knock down this fuck. She better open this fucking door back up and have a key. I'm giving her $5. Look at that shit. I my whole car out here. Air traffic controller. He can't even control traffic at the trailer park. Adios, amigos. Time for dinner.